Hello and welcome to the Genesis Edge VAV sales training. What is the Genesis Edge VAV? The LinkSpring Genesis Edge VAV is not only a VAV controller, but it is a total BAS solution, including AHU and supervisory functionality. The Edge VAV is the first Niagara VAV with complete applications. The Edge VAV includes tool sets for fast, convenient commissioning and balancing. The Edge VAV supports up to 40 different VAV applications, 12 different auxiliary heating applications, and four different exhaust fan applications. The Edge VAV applications are based on established ASHRAE Guideline 36 control sequences of operation. The Edge VAV auto creates graphics based upon the VAV configuration. The Edge VAV has configurable inputs and outputs to meet most installation requirements. And finally, the Edge VAV can be delivered pre-configured, ready to install and operate from the factory. Using the Genesis Edge VAV configuration tool, we created a project called VAV Config Demo. In the Base Configuration tab, we will assign our project configuration. This project has two air handlers, 47 VAVs, and six zones, four one to six. The starting IP address of the first Genesis Edge VAV is 192.168.201. The Assignments tab, we will build our navigation tree. VAV 9 to VAV 47 have already been assigned. By highlighting A21, Floor 1 and double clicking VAV1, the VAV is assigned in the tree. Double clicking the remaining VAVs assigns them to the correct AHU and zone. Click Begin VAV Configuration to start configuring the VAVs. In the Basic Configuration tab, we will assign values to our VAVs. By checking the box to the left of the VAV Config Demo, all boxes are checked and information common to all VAVs may be entered. I'm going to enter the Edge Supervisor name as well as the IP address for the Edge Supervisor itself. During the configuration time, templates may be used. In our example, a pre-configured template, price, SDV 5-8, will be used to configure an 8-inch parallel fan with STR reheat on VAV 1, 3, and 6. When we select the template, it's going to say this action will overwrite existing values, and do we wish to continue? And we're going to say yes. Checking one VAV, we can customize the VAV for its application the room name, the max occupied flow, and the max reheat flow are modified in this example. When all changes are complete, the spreadsheet can be created using the Build XLS button. The Onyx Rapid Integration tool imports the spreadsheet and creates the Niagara network tree. Click in logic for the global set points shown here are created along with the link to the commissioning application. Using the information from the configuration, the VAV graphic is created along with the balancing tool. Each AHU and zone have a graphic created. The AHU has a VAV summary page and the zone has a floor plan. The remaining steps are to import the floor plan image and move the VVs to their appropriate zone. Here, I have a floor plan PNG that I'm going to take from my file space and drag it onto my PX page. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the image itself. I'm going to select reorder and send it to the bottom. This way, I can bring all my VAV links up without interacting with the floor plan. Secondly, I'm going to double click 
my floor plan image, and I'm going to select the layer BG, which will lock it in place. This then allows me to move my VAV links freely to complete my floor plan image. I grab each link, apply it to the uh, zone that it needs to be assigned to. And then you're done. Just click save and you're good to go.